Hi, Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. Today we have a Solar Edge HD Wave Inverter. And what I want to show you today is how to connect to a Wi-Fi network with a Solar Edge HD Wave Inverter. So first up, what we want to do is uh, see on the screen there, so it's operational at the moment. What we want to do first up is just uh, turn the inverter off. So we want to do that by just using the little toggle switch, which is hiding around and down behind here and so we just flip that uh, you see we've got the um, eye here eye means on you can see the little red toggle through there and we will just want to throw it to O which is off so we'll do that there and you can see on the screen it's coming up with DC voltage not safe do not disconnect when that voltage is dropped down to a low amount a safe amount where the orange and red light are no longer flashing and it says a safe voltage then we can connect the Wi-Fi up. Now it is important if you are wanting to connect to a Wi-Fi network with the solar region inverter like this that you do have a Wi-Fi antenna installed with the system so in this case you can see down here this is our Wi-Fi antenna sticking up here it's wired in and if we have a look up at the screen now Yes, oh, press one of the buttons. Okay, so the voltage is now 22 volts and the system is off. So for now the system's all safe and we're ready to do the programming just to set up the Wi-Fi network. So what we want to do now is go into the inverter menu and so we press the OK button and hold it down for a few seconds until it comes up with keep holding for pairing then release and it comes up with please enter password. Now the password is 1231232. Now the up arrow button here is a 1, this one's a 2, this one's a 3. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. And then we go into the inverter menu. So we want to scroll down to communication. So scroll down there, communication. And we want to select server as Wi-Fi. So if it's not currently set on Wi-Fi, we want to go into that and set it. So go into that menu. And you see server Wi-Fi there, press enter on that. When that's been selected, we want to scroll down until we see Wi-Fi conf there and press enter on that. And there's an easy way to set up the, or connect your inverter to your home network. And that's if your modem has a WPS mode on, on it. And so what you would do is press the WPS button on the modem and then you, you can scroll down to WPS mode on here, press enter and it will, auto, it should automatically detect the network, connect to it and you're all done. If your modem doesn't have a WPS mode, what we need to do is we need to do it all manually. So we need to go up to scan networks. So we press scan networks there and wait as the inverter searches for all networks available. Okay, so the inverter's found a whole heap of networks which are available. So we just want to select your correct network. So in this case, we've got one called D-Link. So we're going to under D-Link, that's the correct one there. Press enter. And then we need to enter the Wi-Fi password. So this will be a little bit of a tedious process, but you use the up and down arrows to scroll between all the different characters. And press enter to go to the next one. And keep going until you get all the way through it. Okay, so we've entered the whole Wi-Fi password. When you've got to the end of it, what you want to do is just hold down the OK button until it applies a password. So it's applied there. And now the inverter will try and connect to the network. There we go, connected. Once that's connected, we can just press the escape button to go back to the main screen and we can turn the system back on. So I'm just gonna throw on the little toggle switch down here. So when the inverter is actually connected to the solar edge servers, it'll actually be coming up with SOK over here, which means server connection is okay. Just like it says POK here, which means it's connected to the power optimizers. It'll come up with SOK. It can take a few minutes for that to happen though.
So the inverter is just starting up again. You see it's come online there. We've got 22 of 22 optimizers. It's the inverters found here and communicating with, so it's fantastic. It's not coming up with the SOK light yet, but that will give it a little bit more time to do that. We can see it's it's connected to the home network there. It's created an IP address, so that's all good. Okay, so we see the inverter has now got the SOK up on it, so it's connected to SolarEdge servers. So the system is fully operational and connected, so we can now check it out on the online SolarEdge monitoring portal. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful for you.